Hey, English 9 folks, and uh, welcome to week three. Uh, we're going to try a couple things uh, a little bit different this week uh, to help get even more voices involved, which I think would be a really great thing. Um, our first week, we had a few people jump on. Last week, we had even more jump on. I'm hoping to continue to keep that momentum going. So I um, want to give you a quick update about how I'm thinking about this week uh, and walking you through the outline that uh, got sent out to you as well. Um, so we know that we need to keep reading and we need to keep writing. Uh, the writing ideas for how to journal really stay the same. Um, of course, if you have other ways you'd like to think about journaling, I encourage you to keep doing that. As far as the reading, I want us to think about the reading in two different parts. Um, part one being coronavirus related texts and then part two things separate from that both are really really important we know that we need to stay up to date with the coronavirus we need to be educated we need to know when we hear things what's going on in the world what can we sift through um, and so we've got three really interesting texts hopefully for you uh, to go ahead and take a look at and so again on friday we're going to get together just like we've done the last two weeks and talk about those texts so we hope that you get a chance to read uh, at least one of those uh, if not multiple uh, and then bring your voice to those discussions the other thing that we're going to do this week um, I want to keep the momentum going a little bit from our work with To Kill Mockingbird. We were right on the edge of getting to some really, really good stuff. We were right on the edge um, of getting to the trial, um, and now we've had to pull up a little bit short. I'm not sure exactly how or if we're going to be finishing To Kill Mockingbird together, uh, but I certainly hope to, uh, either as a whole class or if not, then I want to go ahead and grab anyone who is interested in finishing it together, and we'll find a way to do that. That way you can read this, this amazing classic book. Um, and so we'll talk about how to do that. In the meantime, um, I'm going to send out just one text each week related to To Kill a Mockingbird to keep some of these things fresh. And so um, the, the piece I'm sending you this week is uh, The Death of Henry Morrow, uh, which is the true story. Um, of a young black man who allegedly um, said something flirtatious to a, a white woman and was attacked in the streets uh, because of it. The reason I'm choosing that text is because in To Kill a Mockingbird, we just found out what Tom is accused of. Um, he is accused of raping Mayella Ewell. Um, and so to help us understand the severity of that accusation, uh, not just in terms of the rape itself, um, and the accusation of that, but also the dynamic of uh, that accusation being placed on a black man during the time period, um, especially when the uh, the accuser is white. We need to understand a little bit of um, what that does to the, the justice system, um, certainly for the time period, certainly applicable today as well. Uh, but for a black man to be accused of that during the time period in the Deep South uh, does not bode well for Tom. It does not bode well for Atticus. Um, and so the death of Henry Morrow is a, a piece that helps us hopefully understand that and remind us of the, uh, the severity of, of that um, and how Atticus is hoping Tom gets his day in court. Um, but the death of Henry Morrow shows us that uh, getting to court and having a trial, let alone a fair trial, uh, was by no chance a guarantee. So hopefully that catches your attention a little bit. Uh, we're going to read that and discuss that uh, for those who are interested on Thursday. So I'm hoping to see you Thursday and or Friday, uh, either to discuss the death of Henry Marrow and or to discuss some of the coronavirus related texts. Hopefully at least one of those two uh, columns catches your attention. So um, keep reading, keep writing, keep thinking. And if we do those things, um, then we'll put ourselves in really good shape, whether that is for picking back up with Mockingbird together as a whole class, whether that's continuing Mockingbird for those who are interested. Um, and certainly just as we think a little bit about entering the school year, whatever that means next year. Uh, we certainly don't want to go six months, um, you know, March, April, May, June, July, August, uh, without reading and writing and thinking critically. So keep up the good work. Let me know if I can be of any help. And I hope to see you on Thursday uh, and or Friday. Take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.